oh man i've had a pretty much a bad day and i thought you know what i'm not gonna let that stop me from doing content today for like let me just do this video that i wanted to do let me not procrastinate and that is talking about the main character menu for tekken 8 it is so amazing and i haven't gone through all of them so i felt like let me just do it and rate which one is the good one which one is the best and which ones are not so great so usually you go into the screen menu go to main character display and you choose which one so we're going to start off with Alyssa, and then we're going to go down to heiachi and then we're going to select the best costume so for me i think the best costume is this one here let's see what Alyssa's looking like jeez and this is in crystal 4k as well but the content output ain't gonna be in 4k yeah now this looks sick you can see like her chainsaws and everything yeah and, uh, this like neon chainsaws Just with the lighting and stuff quadro rtx number 9000 jeez hey nah this one is i'm not gonna lie this one might have to be nine out of ten you know I, I don't have no fault with this one. And I'm not even a Lissa player like that. I think this one is absolutely sick. But let me know what you lot think, man. We're now going to go and see what the other characters are saying. But that one is actually cold. I can't lie to you. All right. So we're going to go to Asuka. I think her best costume is number three. Not really a fan of the hat. But this one is proper sick, in my opinion. Jeez. Okay. Like the way how it's got the detail of her hair kind of fluffing to the side and stuff. Oh, when she's doing the... Yo, there what she's doing, yeah? She's... Okay. She's showing the muscle. She's showing the muscle. Yeah? Okay, okay. Okay. And you can see it on the side as well. Hey, listen. The Asuka mains will be happy with this one. This one's pretty sick. I can't lie. Yeah, no, this one. I, I rate this one still. I'll probably give this like maybe a... I'll say a 6 out of 10. 7 or 6.5 out of 10. I'll, I'll give it 6.5. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't lie. Let's go to Azucena. I know you lot want to see number. <laughs> I know you lot want to see number. I'm going to give it to you lot. You lot want to see number 4. This is the one you lot want to see for real, for real. I wonder if she's dancing on the stage or anything like that. Is she dancing on the stage? I ain't gonna lie, her facial features look really nice. Like her skin, this and other. You know, actually in game, I don't know, it feels like she kinda... Does she look like this in game? I feel like there's bare more detail in her face in this. And she's blinking as well. Obviously you got a side shot. So this is in a, a, a swim, a underwear, swimwear. So I feel like she's the only character that has underwear like this right well i feel like she is to be fair right they're lowering it for the back boy flipping out you can actually oh yeah you can actually move the character as well flipping out can you move the character like this as well oh you can oh snap yo nah this is proper sick okay I ain't gonna lie, this feature is actually really sick, you know. It's really, really good. I'd give this one a... I'll give this one a 8 out of 10. She, she, she ain't really doing anything. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I think it's her facial features that really kind of stand out to me. Like, she really looks different compared to the rest of the female characters, in my opinion. From this main menu. Alright, let me see what Brian's one is. The best costume for Brian... It's got to be number four, right? It's got to be number four. It's got to be number four. Let's just see what Brian's going on with. Oh, man. Brian looks cold. Yeah, Brian is looking cold. Okay. You see, like, the detail in his leg. Look at, like, the metal and stuff in his leg. Ah, oh, bro, I ain't trying to see his private parts, bro. He's just zooming into his private parts. I ain't trying to see that. 
but you see like the, the just the material in his jacket as well really sick and his face the intensity in his eyes yeah he looks like he's ready to just beat down somebody and then you see the back of the jacket yeah now nah, this is this one also is bruh this one is I would say 6.5 again. It's cool. Like he looks sick, but nah, I mean uh, 6.5. I'm I'm gonna stick with 6.5. Oh nah, you know what? Seven. Seven. Right, let's see Claudio's one. We'll just go for the blue one. I like I like his second outfit, the blue. Oh, that's pretty. He's giving you side profile shot. Oh, I like that with the, you know, the neon signs on his straps on his forearm. He's giving out the gun fingers. He's probably listened to Garage or Grind back in the day. If you're a UK head, you know. If you know, then you know. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I like the amount of detail that is in his clothes. It's really sick. Again, side portrait. It's kind of like it's kind of like a offset side portrait. It's not like just side on, but it's, it looks sick. He's not really doing anything. I open. It's kind of like six point. I'll give this a six point five, man. But I do like the fact that it's going. It does highlight into this kind of like. What would you What would you call this? It's just, it's like it just looks sick. Not, it's, it looks demonic, but I don't know what you'd call this. That is pretty cool. I'll give this a. I think because of that, I'll give it a seven because where it goes into all of that detail. All right. Devil Jim. What other ones? What ones do you want to see from Devil Jim? They all look kind of similar. All right, let's do this one with like where has got a bit of the the you know the tattoo on his chest and his belly and stuff like that. I want to see like the skin tone and how it looks. Yeah, this one looks cold. You can see like this this stone in his head. It's just glowing. I've never seen it glow before. I thought it was just a solid red. But it's glowing. It's like got this heat inside of it or something. Something is glowing inside of it. His eyes are red. You can see like just like his skin, like the texture of his skin and his face. The feathers on his jacket. Oh no, the fur the fur these little feathers on his jacket is crazy. And then the horns as well. Cold. And then it goes into his gloves as well. You see the chains. Look at the chains. Jeez, nah, man, this is cold. And it goes more closer or more to the center. Yeah, now nah, this one is really good. Really, really good. And then you see these wings at the back as well. Yeah, this one is really good. Really, really good. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Just because of the textures, the different textures you see, the ones on his horns, the jacket, the, the, you know, the fur, his face, you know, the gem in his head as well. I don't even know if that's a gem, I, I feel like it is a tattoo as well. Really, or emblem, emblem. This looks really, it looks really good. Okay, cool. Dragonoff, I ain't seen Dragonoff 1. I want to do 2, Docker. I want to see him, I want to see how he is, normally. And then I'm going to do the full three as well because obviously he's got the goggles on, the night vision goggles, looking like a Call of Duty character. Ooh. I ain't going to lie with the cold eyes and the marks and all of that stuff. And he's got the sat. Is he doing the, the Sambo stance? I don't know what his stance it is. is it, does, he does Sambo, right? Or close quarters combat. Does he do close quarters combat? And oh, you see the wolf on. Oh my gosh, on the jacket. Jeez. 
it looks very cold where he's at i don't know if it's because he's like he's you know his face looks pale and he's kind of it looks cold there right like what's going on over here it looks cold i don't know if there's there is like dust floating in the sky as well yeah nah this is cold very very mysterious like the shadows in his hair and stuff like that the way how they done it it's very mysterious i like that then you see again you see more material in his jacket jeez his jacket looks wavy yeah now this one's sick but i definitely i'll say this one i'll give this one a 7.5 i think this one's really good but yeah there ain't really much to it in terms of like the quality looks sick but it ain't really much to it let me see what else i wanted to do Maybe this one here as well ah oh, the goggles looks all types of crazy and then the backpack he just looks like a call of duty character i ain't gonna lie to you this one, this costume looks crazy with a backpack yeah now this one looks all types of crazy but it's cool man i think it like this one this one's cool it wouldn't be my choice to put in the main menu in my opinion but it is cool We've got a few to get through so let's get let's get through to it quick we'll do thing with number one because i like way how he's got that armor on his uh right shoulder is it right shoulder or left shoulder Yeah, I like how he's got the armor. Jeez, look at the reflection on it, man. Look at his face. Yeah, he's not messing around. Bro, I can't believe this guy's under 30. Look at his face. He's been through wars, boy. Yeah, now this one's this one's cool. Again, the reflection as well. From the armor. Yeah, nah, he looks angry. He looks like someone stole his dinner. But I like the way how it goes and shows, like, all of his definition into his muscles, man. This one is... This one, for me, I would say... Uh, this, one's a, this one's a 7.5. This one's a 7.5 for me. I'm not going to lie. This one, this one was good, though. But this one's a 7.5. I you know everyone likes the Harong one. I like the old school Tekken Tag 2, uh, uh, Tekken Tag colors to be fair. So turquoise. All right, so with Harung, he actually looks away and looks at you. So I like this little detail as well. So it's different than other ones. Everyone's kind of looking straight at you, but he's looking away, looking at you. I think that's pretty cool. And then it takes a while to kind of like look at you and stuff. That way it kind of goes into his... Again, the material and the clothes of these characters look really good. And like, you know, his hands is on his hips as well. So this one shows characteristics. Like, I'd like this one. And even like the muscle in his triceps and stuff like that. Proper sick. Again, he's looking away. Then he'll look straight. Obviously, it's got an emblem. It's got a... M, uh, it's got this on the background. It says vein. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'd say this is uh this one is an eight for me. I think this uh, this shows a lot of character from the rest of them that I've seen so far. So I, I like this one. I think this one's cool. And then we got Jack. You know, I reckon we can go for let's just go for the standard costume. Cause I like what he's got going on now. I don't want to go for his Tekken 7 costume. I think this costume that he has now is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, yo. With the neon lights, the red neon lights as well. And he's just there with his fist like this. Yeah. I really like this. I really like this one. He ain't really doing much, I'll be honest, but it's just the materials and everything. And you can see like, you know, just these costume and like the little screws and, and there as well on the right side of his arm just the lights just beaming off of him this one's cool i'd give this a like maybe a 
I'll give this an eight. I really like this. And even like, sorry, like the scratches on the art. Can you see like there's like marks on these like clothes? Like it's like scratches and stuff. Yeah, I'll give this one. I'll give this one an eight. I really like this one. I think this one's cool. Okay, let's see what other ones they have. I right, Jin Kazama, which one do we have for Jin? I'll give him the one with the hood because he gives it, this one probably give him more personality. Okay, so he's doing the stance. So this is when you select him in the versus menu, this is what he does. Okay, you see in his gloves. Okay. Okay, the material in his jacket again. So this is his Tekken 7 costume, but this looks cool. Get me, he's giving main character vibes. No. Again, don't know if this is leather on the back or whatever it is, but it looks cool. I'll give this um I'll give this a 7.5. 7.5 I think it's cool and then we have Jun Kazama we'll go with this one I kind of like this one this one looks like a sweet little costume that she's got going on over there but yeah this main menu thing hats off to Bandai because this is sick oh she looks really cute yeah that, this is cool Okay, and you see her hand, her hand is just straight like that. Okay, it gives us a kind of different side profile from this one. Then it gives us another angle. Face on. This one's a proper side profile. It looks a bit drowsy. And then it just shows the, the back off. Okay. But I like the materials of you know what she's wearing. You, again, looks like linen. Looks really nice. I ain't gonna lie though, it looks like Jun don't have no back though. Looks like she's got a Toshiba, it looks like kind of flat. But anyways, moving on. We're gonna go to screen settings. We're gonna go and see it. What was this one? I'd say I'd say maybe seven. I'll rate this as a seven. Kazuya, let's see what Kazuya's one saying. We'll go for his normal one. I mean, we've seen Kazuya's one on, on the game at the start. Do we really need to see Kazuya's one again? This was like default. Yeah, this, we've seen this one, man. What did I think of this one? I've seen it way too many times. Oh, but we didn't see it with the jacket, though, did we? Yeah, this one is a straight... Nine... I like the eye glowing and the jacket and just the intensity in his face and what he's wearing. It's, it's really sick. Like, I know we've seen him many times, but yeah, this one's cold. This one's cold, because here's one's cold. It's like, I think the eye glaring means a lot. Like, it just bumps it up in just quite a bit more in points. It's just really good. Uh, King, I can't really see King's one being that good. He just has a mask on. However, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Cool. This is King One. Yeah, I like the way it goes into his trunks where it says King. Oh, I like the I like the cape that he's got going on. Oh, when he's pointing as well. The detail in his elbow pad. Oh, the detail in his elbow pads is absolutely crazy. Like the reflection, the reflection on his cape as well. Angle of the beast. Yeah, now nah, this is called. And the muscle as well, you can see the vein in the muscle. I really like this one. I thought this one's better than what I actually thought it would be. I think this is like a seven. Because he likes to do the point and stuff as well. So I think this is a seven. It's really good. All right, moving on. Who's the next one we got going on? We have Kuma. Okay, Kuma, number four. So this is the Tekken 7 Kuma look right I'm 
Yeah, this would be quite funny to start up your game and seeing Kuma like this. Um, don't really much to say. I'll say I, I'm not going to give this a high one. I'll probably give this like maybe. Oh, he does the looking left and right. Okay. That gives a bit of personality. I was going to give this a 3 out of 10. But I like the looking left and right. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. No, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I like the way how his mouth is opening and closing, opening and closing. You know, the looking left and right thing was quite interesting to me. I'm like, yo, yeah, this. Yeah, that's sick. No, that is actually cold. All right, yeah. I give it a, I give it a six out of ten. That was cool. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know he does that. But yeah, now six out of ten. That's pretty cool. Bumps it up a couple points. All right, last one is probably gonna be good. I bet you Shaiko's probably seen this one already. But I bet you changed it to last already. Yeah, last looks angry, boy. Looks like he's ready for war. Okay. You know, this is cool. And the, oh, the emblem lights. So this this lion emblem, I don't know if this is a lion that he has in his chest. I didn't know it lights up. Okay, and it's spinning around like this. Okay. Yeah, this looks sick. The different textures as well in his gear looks really good. Then the side face, you can see again a lot of skin, a lot of skin textures he has on his face. Really cool. Yeah, I'll give this one a seven. This is nice. This one's really cool. Seven out of ten. This is really cool. And then we have lore, but we're gonna do the classic outfit. Now nah, I'm gonna be biased because I like Bruce Lee in it, so this one has to be good, right? Bruh. 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 Nah. This is Bruce Lee. Rest in peace, Bruce Lee. But this is him. This is him. This is 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Look at the watch, you got the rollie on, dog. Yo, and the chain, and nah, this is the best one by far. This is the best one. This is the best one. And it's got the dragon stitching on his shirt as well. Nah, man, this is 10 out of 10. This, this is the best one. I wish they made Lord more serious in the story. 10 out of, this is just, yeah, by far. The best one. Too sick. Then we've got Lee Chao Lan. So we'll do him in the Tekken 7 outfit. I think this one is his best outfit in my opinion. So this is Lee Chao Lan. See what each one's going on with. So he's looking at, to the left. Smelling his flower, boy. What is in that? My man went to Amsterdam and got that flower, boy. So he's getting high off the flower. Is that what's going on? I like the way how it's just... It focuses on the flower. Then it focuses on both of them. Then it focuses on Lee Charlan. It's really, really sick. Jeez. Nah, this is the amount of detail that goes into this. Look at the stitching into his coat like jeez yeah this this one is really good i'd say this one to me i think that's 10 out of 10 i think his one and martial law's one are the best ones so far like just by far i think they're just really good let's see what leo's one leo really doesn't have a personality but i can't see leo's one being too bad but I can't see it being 10 out of 10 material. Okay, what does Leo do? Okay, the, the, hair, the hair kind of like 
pushes pushes up a little bit. Okay. Clench fist. Okay, so it's just showing like wind physics on Leo's clothes. Okay, fair enough. I like the material where her sleeves are rolled up. It kind of shows a different material than the outside of her jacket. Ah, uh, there's nothing really going on. This is like a maybe like a three out of ten. There's nothing really going on. Like it's not like it's the the like the way how they modeled it is bad. It's just what is going on. I'm basing this on what's going on. How do they look? What are they doing? I think maybe three might be harsh, but there's just nothing going on. It's just I'd say four out of ten. I don't think it's it's not that bad. You know, it's not that bad. We'll do Tekken 7 Leroy outfit. Jeez, look. Just look at the intensity in his face. It's crazy. The man's got the pendant. He is the most drippiest character. Look at the rings, his hand. The dragons, the way how he's just like this with his hands, oh, hey. yeah, man, drippiest character, yeah, drippiest character. This is a this is it to me. Is a nine out of ten. nine out of ten he's not really doing he's not doing much it's not like Laura Lee that that are doing stuff like this one he's the drippiest but you know he's not really doing anything so I can't give it it can't be on the same level as Laura Lee do you know what I'm saying I, I like this outfit number three we're gonna go with that with Lily let's see what's going on oh she looks really pretty here now, the hair physics is a lot more better than how she was in Tekken 7. Like, again, the material and the clothing is really good. It's up to scratch. Um, she ain't really doing nothing. Obviously, she has her hands um, out to the side. Hair physics again. You can see the strands of hair kind of going in and out. Oh, but then the hair is going in and out of her fur. I... There ain't really much going on in this one. Um, I'll give it a four or five. I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. It's, it's okay. Her, her eyes is very detailed. But there's not much really going on. It's cool. And then we're going to go for Nina. I know you lot want the bride outfit. So I'm just going to go straight to the bride outfit. It was requested on my stream, and I was like, yo, you want the bride outfit? Okay. <laughs> I know exactly what you wanted. Are you getting side-eye from Nina, blinking? Okay, skin looking smooth. Like, there ain't too much, like, detail on the face as much, like, you know, the last costume. Okay, so she got a flash grenade. She got, a, a, she got the Glock. She got stuff going on. Okay, side profile, kind of, kind of like you can see her other part of her face, which is her eye and stuff. But it's kind of like a side profile. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I'll give this one a seven. I like the bad outfit and just the details and stuff. Looks pretty cool to me. I don't know. I don't even know if seven might be too high. I think in six might be more, but seven is okay. It's okay. Panda. We do the honeybee one because this one that one's more interesting. We just don't want to see some stuff on Panda. This one's very glittery though. This looks very seasonal, but the the wings looked a bit weird in terms of like the graphics, right? It looks a bit pixelated, right? I like the like you know Panda's yawning and stuff.
nearly making me one of you. Yeah, like the wings look. I don't know. There's something about the wings. I don't know. I do like the effect. The I do like the effects though. It's kind of like there's a glare on the wings, and obviously pandas yawning a lot. So it's giving a bit of character. I would say I'll give this one maybe a six. I'll give this one a six. I like stuff that is animated and is showing their characteristics. It shows that Panda is just a lazy kind of character. You know, Panda doesn't really want to fight, but if Panda needs to fight, Panda will fight. You know? All right, we'll do the normal one. If you want to see the other one where he's got the, the, the afro hair, you can check my YouTube shorts because I've done a video like that already. I ain't gonna lie, the, the graphics on Paul's face, he definitely looks old now. I can't lie, he definitely looks old. You can see the rope, the leather jacket. You can see the detail in the leather jacket and the zip and everything like that and the skull on the um, pocket. Put the Paul Phoenix on the back. Side profile with the hair. Hair's kind of in the face so you can... It's kind of got the hair like blocking his eye where it would be in the camera, where it would be closer to the camera. So you're seeing focus on the other eye which i think is sick yeah i like this one this one is a this one's a straight this one is six six out of ten it's cool it's cool i'd even give it even yes six six is fine because i like the detail all right we're gonna do raven which one are we gonna do for raven i think the ninja one would be good right let's do the ninja one so this is his second seven outfit right Cheese. Yeah, Shinobi. Yeah, yeah. You see his hand as well. Looks, hey, this looks cold. And then you see the detail in his clothing. Yeah, this one's cold. But you know what one I think is cold? I think we need to go check the other one for Raven, if I'm honest. Like the other one for Raven, we need to check because this one, this one's cool, but it's not his Tekken seven, Tekken eight outfit. So maybe we should check out his Tekken, check out his Tekken eight outfit, his actual outfit. Look at, look at his hair, bro. The textures in his hair is absolutely insane. Facial features, the scar on his face, the glasses. You can see his eyes under the glasses if you if you hold it down with the right analog. Mysterious. The skin, the tattoo. Look how realistic the tattoo is. You can see the goosebumps underneath the you know the tattoo, boy. Jeez. Are you dumb? This is so sick. And then the side profile shot looks sick as well. Then you see the clothes as well material you can see that there's a bit of there's, you know markings on his on his gear maybe for all that intense training even from you know I, it's crazy man this one is a i think this one's an 8.5 this one is really good to, to me he's not doing much animation but he just looks like a real ninja like he just looks sick and he looks mysterious as well with it you know the pose everything i like this one a lot so we're gonna move on to Rainer. So we're gonna try out Rainer's normal one. See what Rainer's one is saying. Seeing the dust in the sky to see. So Rainer's one is cool. She's moving around a lot though. Definitely moving around a lot. No animation. Yeah, she's moving around a lot. Definitely mysterious character. Got her hands folded. She got that attitude. I like the fact that it shows attitude from her. You know, you could definitely see something is going on with this character, right? And then on the replay side. So usually on the replay side, it shows like the back of them but it's not showing the back of them with Raynor which is quite different right so with, uh, with this now 
it's showing the light ha- being highlighted from the back of her right but she's looking at you and she looks evil now right but if you turn it to this side you see the light in front of her but if you do this you're like oh my gosh and this is what shows the split personality between Reyna like you wouldn't even think this stuff is even makes sense but it's like yo look damn she looks like she's in a horror movie now right but then she looks cool here so this is what shows the split personality of this character I would give this one uh, I would say for what it is and what they're trying to do I'll give this an 8.5 usually I would give that an 8 but I would give it an 8.5 because I think that adds mystique to the character and I think it's I think it's pretty good but there isn't nothing going on outside of the box there I just think what they try to do is pretty cool um I would like to do I've always liked this outfit the, the Tekken 7 outfit I'm not gonna lie not many people do but I really like this outfit with him yo he looks serious boy Shaheen's one of those characters that yeah no, I like the, I like the material and everything Shaheen's one of those characters that wasn't really accepted in Tekken 7 in Tekken 8 he's more fun now right more of a fun character more unique got the slides got the mix ups pretty cool character so yeah this one is not really much going on I like the intensity in his face and you know just the detail and stuff I will give this one maybe a 6.5 6.5 there ain't really much going on let's see Steve so I'm gonna go for his boxing outfit I think his boxing outfit is probably his best outfit out of those so let's see what's going on what's he doing in this okay he's just staring at the camera okay his fist is out let's go to the chain you see the muscle in his legs and stuff and his kneecap okay that's a lot of detail in his kneecap boy flipping out again in what again in with a kneecap i'll say i'll get this one maybe a seven or even a 6.5 he ain't really doing anything i'll say 6.5 man that's my final one i think 6.5 i like the detail they done but he's not really doing anything other than his fist is out so it's okay Victor let's do the blue outfit oh yeah this this is sick and you see his sword the plasma sword then you see him with the daggers ready for action side profile shot yeah this is a cold shot I think Victor's one has to be easily he ain't doing anything but I think just because of the style of the character you know he's got the sword he's got the daggers the glasses you know the, the futuristic glasses I'll say I'll give this one an 8 yeah an 8 I think it's, I think it's really cool I almost forgot where to, where to find this menu. There's so much menus to go through to get to her. Okay, we're going to go for... Go for the Tekken 7 outfit. This is Ling Xiaoyu. Ah, Ling Xiaoyu looks so innocent here, boy. Not like her Tekken style. Okay, here we go. She got her hands behind her back. Okay, so it's showing innocence. Again, there's not much going on. It's 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 cool. Six six out of ten. When I give these scores like six out of ten, it's it's not saying oh they're terrible or anything like that. It's just basically saying what ones I think are good. Like, do they do a lot of animation? Is it sick? Is it like, you know, is is what they're pulling off re- like super cool? But all of these are very good. Like, they're very good. But it's just rating what I think is the best out of all of them. So we'll do Yoshimitsu 1. I haven't seen Yoshimitsu 1, to be fair. It's the first time I've seen it. Okay, the, ne- the breathing neons. 
this is this is looking good the breathing neons yo from from the forehead to the eyes to the mouth and yo okay let's get his hand out and the sword okay okay that sword looks sharp boy and let's just got to focus on the sword okay then you got a side profile shot this is 8.5 out of 10 8.5 out of 10. I don't know. You know what? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm going to stick with 8 out of 10. I think 8.5 is too high. Now we're going to use Safina. With a Tekken 8 gear. Right? Her default costume. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So she's she's doing her stance. Okay, the hips are they're they're wiggling, whining. She's ready for Notting Hill Carnival. She got the orb. I like the fact that it's it's highlighting her face quite a bit. And then yeah, she's kind of just looking straight on, boy. Nah, this is cool. So then does it... Okay, it does focus on the orb. I was thinking, does it focus on the orb or not? But it does. It focuses in and out of the orb. I think this one's cool. I think this is a strong 7.5. Nah, I'm lying. I think 8. 7.5? 8? Uh, um, 7 point... Mm. I like the focus in and out of the orb really, really well. And I don't personally like Zafina as a character, but... I'll probably give this a 7.5. I'm struggling between 7.5 and 8. I don't know which one I'll do. We're going to go for Eddie's old outfit. Because we're going to switch it up. These are the DLC. So every time we've got the DLC characters, you get used to see their faces and stuff. But we're going to switch it around. So this is Eddie. He's pointing to his chest. So we've seen all of these, right? So I'm just going to go through these quickly. I like this one. I think this one's a. I'll say this one is a six point five. Yeah, six point five. Go for Lydia. Let's see which one she has. Let's go for the Tekken Seven outfit. Switch it up because we saw the Tekken, the Tekken Eight default one when we get the DLCs. Okay. Like the smooth skin tone, the eyes. Oh, and our hands as well. Jeez, okay. I'll say this one is a 6.5. I think Eddie's one is seven and this one's seven. I'll put Eddie's one seven and this one is seven. And then last but not least, we're gonna do Heihachi Mishima. But we're gonna do his Tekken 7 outfit. These are really good, man. Okay, you see his face. Okay, his arms are crossed. Then you see the outfit in his, you know, you see his outfit. You see the reflection coming off of, you know, his gear. Oh, that side profile and the lighting is crazy. Okay, this one is this one's okay. This one is like a, I'd say a seven. I like Heiachi as well as a character, but yeah, all in all, all of these are great. Like I said, this is amazing work from Bandai Namco. Again, like I know that there's been some stuff like in terms of the updates and a lot of patching in the game, but out of everything, I think this is such an amazing touch. This is stuff that we were talking about in the Mandem Lobby podcast. We were saying that, yeah, you should be able to change the characters um, on the menu. They went above and beyond. Like, these are really good. They're creative. I feel like some of the characters could be doing some other stuff as well. But, listen, I'd rather be work focusing on the balancing of the game rather than this stuff. This is amazing. Thank you very much for it. This has been King J. I've given my votes on it. Let me know what you don't think about yours. What are your votes for your own characters? What would you suggest for your characters to do? Um, let me know in the comment section down below and yeah, I'll see you there.
Other than that, take it easy. And if you ain't subscribed, remember to subscribe. Peace. Take it easy.